everyone so welcome back to another documenting disney episode so in this episode i'm going to be sharing with you guys the beginning process of how i'm putting my album together so if you missed the first episode where i talk about what paper collection i'm using what album i'm using where i printed my pictures i'll just go ahead and link that video down below so you guys can get caught up so today i'm going to be sharing with you guys what i have so far so this is a black Becky Higgins Project Life 6x8 album that I picked up off on Amazon. So I'm going to try and tilt this up so you guys don't get the glare. I just am trying to figure out where things should go, where I want journaling cards, where I want shaker pockets. If I couldn't fill up a whole page with photos, I just cut it in half. So this is the, where is it? Design four with the um, four three by four pockets and I just cut it in half because I didn't have enough photos to fit that and I kind of like having little ones here and there and I'm going to probably cover the back with pattern paper and then I have something like this where I did the same thing. I'm going to fuse this off so I have our little tickets in there to the parks and then I might add a journaling card there and kind of talk about our day or our, what we had planned. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to see where I'm gonna add journaling cards, what I'm gonna do. Um, see, here's another one. And this is me just showing you a flip through. Here's our fast passes to Radiator Springs Racers, and right here I'm probably gonna journal about how I almost puked my brains out. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there's that. I have big plans for this. <laughs> and then here is another thing I have to fuse. Those are our fast passes for Haunted Mansion. There's more fast passes. So this is me just kind of showing you what I'm doing and my thought process. And my album I'm pretty happy with right now. It's not too thick, which I'm super happy about. And then um, I did another one of these. These were our tickets to the Halloween party. So I just had to trim down the sides of this card a little bit and it fit perfectly. So that's the little reminder that we got with our um, tickets to the Halloween party. So I thought that was cute to document in there. And see, I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do with all these. We will see. I don't know if I'm going to need all these photos of the fireworks. So. And this last one, because Adam lost his first tooth at Disneyland when we were leaving. Well, not at Disneyland, but in California. Isn't that so cute? Okay. So, and then I'm just going to journal about that um, right here. So that is what I have so far. So now I'm going to be showing you guys what I plan to do with the maps. Um, at first, I thought I would go ahead and create like a pocket from the paper collection, which is cute, but I feel like that's just more paper, more thickness, more bulk. So, and I really like um, how it looks right now. I mean, I know it's going to get a little thicker, you know, with shakers and stuff, but this would make me happy right here. So I had a bunch of these six by eight pages left. And so what I thought was I could just make my own custom pocket. So I think I'm going to fuse right up against... Um, the maps or whatever I have in each one, and I have my own little custom pocket for the map. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, and then I'm gonna go into my album and kind of fuse the fast passes and stuff in there. I'm also going to, oh, this is gonna be hard. So I think I have a solution for what I'm gonna do with this. I don't like these. Um, like I said, I didn't want to add bulk and also I feel like these plastic hard pieces are going to press onto the page that it's um, Like right on top of or underneath or whatever 
and I feel like it's gonna make like a little indent in the plastic page, um, possibly even the photo, I don't know. So I just wanna get rid of this. So I think I have a solution for that. Let me go ahead and get my chipboard and all my few stuff that I will need. I use a piece of chipboard so I don't damage my, my desk. And I have my fuse tool all heated up and it's ready to, to be used. So let's see. Hmm. So sometimes I still get questions about like, what is a fuse tool? Where can I get one? I will leave a link down below to where you can pick one up. So it will basically fuse the plastic together to make pockets. Now this is the longer ruler. It actually comes with the smaller one. I know there's the We Are Memory Keepers one and I know there's a Project Life one. Um, I have the We Are Memory Keepers one and this ruler, I'm so glad I got it. <laughs> because, I mean, it's just so handy for things like this. The one it comes with is a lot smaller. It's, it's half the size of this, actually. And um, you're just gonna have to, like, stop and then line it up again with the part you already fused. And this is, you know, it makes it really easy to just make a continuous, like, you know, fused pocket. So, I'm trying to get it all even, I don't want anything crooked. And then I'm going to trim the excess off. And then I'll have my pocket. And so now I'm just gonna take my Fiskars cutter and cut the excess off. And I have my own little pocket for this. Then I don't have the added bulk of the paper, the paper collection. And it's really fast and simple. And you can see the map as opposed to if you had it in a in like a pocket that you made out of the design paper. Um, you know, you're gonna have to pull it in and out. This way, um, you can actually see the entire map. And I think it'll look really cool in the album. So let's figure out these wristbands. I know there's probably a way <laughs> to take this off somehow with this black piece without cutting it, probably. But I don't know a way to do that right now. So I'm gonna cut it like that. I already creased it with my bone folder, which sucks, but maybe that doesn't matter. So I'm gonna do something like this. Just so it has a little decorative edge. I think that'll be cute. Hopefully. <laughs> this is kind of like hard material to cut through it. Okay, so there we go. 
that's actually pretty cute. I like that a lot. Okay. It's not perfect, but it is cute, I think. So now, I would like, ooh, I could have done this. But like I said, I folded these. Oh, actually I couldn't have. I mean, maybe I can. See, but then you can kind of still tell whose was the adults and whose was the, hmm. Maybe I'll just have two that are folded and you'll know that those are the adults and then two are the kids's and you'll know that those were the kids's. Or I will know. <laughs> Not like it matters, but. Okay, so I'm gonna slip these in here. Like so. So one of these was Aiden's, one was Jamie's. Mine and Steven. That's cute. I actually like how this turned out. That is really, really cute. And you don't have that added bulk, like I said, you know? And then... Okay. All right, so there is our Wristband. Okay. So I just did the lighting a tiny bit, you guys, because I didn't want you to be blown away by the glare. Um, so I hope that's okay. So my first little map, I'm gonna put, hmm, probably right here. I need, I might even make an intro page. We'll see. And then, let's see, we went to California Adventure first. So let's stick this there. Then we went to Disneyland, which that should go here. And then I want to put this by the Jungle Cruise. And then, let's see, okay, Mickey's Party, which was over here. I don't mind if little things are coming out of the top. It's not a big deal to me. And see, it's already starting to get a tiny bit, tiny bit bulky. <laughs> See, and I can't put it like right here because this was like at Disneyland during the day. This was when the party started. So, and then this one I'm gonna put at the beginning because this was just in general at the parks. So now I'm just going to. Fuse my tickets in, the room keys, all that good stuff. All right, so here again is my album. Now with everything fused. So 
I'm gonna just get to the parts where things are fused. Or that I put maps. So there's the tickets. Here's another map. I picked up two of these because on each side, or my husband picked up a bunch of these anyway, but I put two, um, one on each side of each map from um, both parks because one side is California Adventure and one side is Disneyland. So like, this is the Disneyland map, so I just had, had it to the Disneyland side. This is the California Adventure map, so I had it switched over to the California Adventure side. There's the Jungle Cruise map. I'm not too crazy about my other uh, Disney albums. I'll go ahead and link them down below. I do have videos on them. I'm not too crazy about them, but I feel like I am getting better. So, you learn, you know? I think with my first album, I was so obsessed with like trying to put embellishments on the photos and stamping and trying to do like pretty things when really I just need to, you know, have the memories in here and decorating is nice, but you know, I'm going to look back and want to look at these things, not, not what, you know, embellishments I used. So I love these so much. These came out so cute. And then I believe that's it. All right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. So, as far as thickness goes, I'm doing pretty good. And I'm going to be doing um, shaker pockets and pages in here soon. So, hopefully, it won't look too crazy after that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode. I will see you next Sunday for another episode of Documenting Disney. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.